Hello and welcome to the 2023 interview series. I'm Sabrina Schattenhamel, and I want to introduce you to Sharon Carruthers and let you know how we met and what her business is so that we can make ourselves more visible to you and also to cross promote. So actually I will let Sharon introduce herself. And then as part of that, you can say how we met. Okay. Hi. Thank you, Sabrina. I am Sharon Caruthers. I am Trinidadian, living in Jamaica, married to a Jamaican. I have three adult children, and I currently own, I'm the CEO of um, an HR consulting firm called Bold Consulting. And I met Sabrina through our mutual business coach, um, Jennifer Reyes. And we are both a part of her community, Unshakable Confidence Club. And so we met through that community and we have become friends since then. Yes, yes. And actually, was it in December that we became partners in a, a group activity? Yes. Uh, but sh I think she, maybe Holy Spirit, connected the two of us to work on the project and what that did for us is we met over Zoom, we had some discussion questions, and then over the month between, like, I think it was the end of December and the beginning or the end of January, yes. we were holding each other accountable for some of the goals that we had set or maybe even some of the, the challenges that we were working on. That's so it was really nice to have Sharon as a partner, yes. and we have a lot of similarities so do you want to share some of our similarities that we have learned about each other? Sure. And as a matter of fact, another way that I have been um, relating with, with Sabrina is on her um, platform for, for introverts. Mm -hmm. I actually did, do, did attend a couple of her lunchtime networking sessions. I think it's what it's called mm -hmm. um, for, for introverts. So I... I consider myself to be an introvert. <laughs> and so that's one of the things we have in common. Um, mm -hmm. We also both are in business. We have our own businesses and we are challenged with, you know, balancing between, um, you know, knowing that we're doing what we are called to do in terms of God's will for us. And at the same time, um, you know, how much time we spend in the work and how much time we spend on, on the business, you know? And so we're, we're, we're in, we're, we're common that way as well. We're similar in that way. And we both have, um, you know, close family members who are not sure what, where we are going, <laughs> the direction that we are going in. Yeah. Um, and, and so that's another challenge that we have to overcome in terms of how do we um, convince and how do we, you know, convince our, our close relatives that what we are doing, we're on the right path where God is concerned. And at the same time, you know, honor ourselves, our passion, our, our, our dreams, as well as God's purpose and plan for us. So those are two of the things I can remember that we are similar. About. Yes, <laughs> those are all the things. Yeah, um, I know you came to at least one or two networking for introverts um, calls. We meet on the third Thursday of the month at 12 p.m. Central. And it's just a place that I've created for introverts to be safe. And to learn more about using our gifts as introverts to become leaders, not only in our life, but in our business. And really to uh, learn how to speak up in an extroverted world. <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> because yes. there's a lot of noise out there. There's a lot of extroverts that usually take over the conversation. So I think that's another reason why God connected us to be partners in December and January because yes. we're introverts and, you know, we, we understand each other. And yes. so we can motivate each other when Absolutely. we feel a little bit down or, you know, have those internal thoughts going on. Absolutely. And one other thing is um, that we're both uh, paying attention to our health at this time as well. And that will come out a little later on in terms of why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing now. But we are both on a journey to ensuring that we are properly um, taking care of ourselves in terms of our nutrition, mm -hmm. um, exercise, that sort of a thing. So we are both on that journey um, for different reasons, but we are both on that journey. 
Yeah. And actually, since you mentioned passions, tell us your passions, Sharon. Okay. So, <laughs> so right now I'm passionate about, I'm passionate about Bible study and I've been for a long while, um, you know, studying the word. I'm passionate about self-development and self-care and self-love. Um, also passionate about working with women to encourage them and support them in the same thing, you know, self-care, self-love. It is an area that I'm realizing there is such a, uh, you know, high need in that area. And so I love, I'm passionate about working with and supporting women to grow and to maximize their potential, to fulfill their, pot their, their potential and their purpose and their calling. And I'm also passionate about working with marriages. Um, I am very active in my church ministry, uh, marriage ministry, and I am passionate about supporting others in marriage. I believe so strongly that marriage is something that's instituted by God. I see so much struggling going on in marriages, and I just believe that persons, if they understand, you know, the real purpose of marriage, if they understand themselves, they understand their partners, and some basics, if they understand some basics, our marriages could be so much more fulfilling and, and grow. And so those are the things I'm passionate about the word, um, supporting women in their growth and their purpose and marriages. That's I love it. that. <laughs> and you mentioned something in the beginning and then with the marriages, um, something that else that keeps coming to mind is having good communication. You know, yeah. we talked about that as an introvert, we're more internal thinking and we don't always speak up, but yeah knowing your, even if it's not a marriage, even if it's just any relationship that you have, whether you're in a relationship with another introvert or an extrovert, knowing each other, under, understanding each other and how you communicate. Sometimes introverts, we just need to think it through, write it out, or get together with another introvert to bounce it off them. Yeah. And then take time to process it before we come up and formulate an answer for our spouse or friend or whoever we're possibly in conflict with. Yeah. So, yeah, communication is so key in all areas of our lives. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. It is for sure. It is. Yeah. And, um, you know, some persons may not believe that we are introverts because we both do a lot of speaking, right. you know, we do a lot of speaking. So they may think that we're not. Um, but the truth is that we do what we have to do. <laughs> we step up to the plate. But what happens is that afterward, we're then drained. So we step up to the plate and we put ourselves out there and we do what we have to do to communicate. We know what our audience needs. And so we meet their needs by, you know, sharing the information that we believe they need to be to, to hear. But then afterward, what makes us introverts is that that then drains us. So we need to then recover. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's about understanding our, you know, the needs of the persons we're communicating with and communicate in a way that's effective to them. And then afterward, knowing what we need to do so that we can continue doing what we need to do in life as introverts. Yes, yeah, so we need to recharge our batteries, like get in our jammies, maybe read a book, <laughs> read the word or do some kind of prayer and meditation. Yes. Yeah, so good. I love that. So next question is, how did you get into your business or your line of work? Okay, and that's in totally in alignment with what I've been sharing so far. Mm -hmm. um, there are two areas to my work. I am a human resource management consultant. So I own my own business for the past seven years. And basically that means supporting businesses in their human resource needs in terms of staff development, staff team building, uh, change management, and all the, the range of, of administrative and policy related matters as it relates to human resources in organizations. They're people matters. So I support organizations and particularly their leaders in dealing with their people matters. Um, and, I, and I entered into that world after 25 years in corporate world, in the corporate world as an HR manager, climbing all the way up from, you know, being a personnel officer to being a manager of human resources and administration. And I realized that I would offer a lot more value um, to many more organizations if I were to launch out on my own. And so I did that. I launched out onto my own so that I could be available to more organizations, more leaders, and provide my expertise and the experience that I had gained over those years. At the same time, I have now also 
started my my program, a coaching program and coaching a coaching line of business that I call Recharge and Reset. And I don't know if I mentioned the name of my business. It's called Bold Consulting. Mm -hmm. And so on the Bold Consulting, I now have a Recharge and Reset program. And um, it's so interesting that Sabrina pointed out that we need as introverts to recharge and reset. But the truth is that all human beings, we have to recharge and reset. And that's why we have to sleep and wake up, right? Every mm -hmm. single day. Um, but but my own story began where, like I said, I, I moved up in the corporate ladder and I was one that poured my all into my work, mm -hmm. my all into my work, my all into my family, whatever it is I was doing, I would be putting 150% in there. And so even ministry at church and so on came to the point where I burned, I suffered burnout. Mm -hmm. Um you know, so when you, what I looked, what I learned in retrospect is that I was not taking care of myself. So while I was pouring out into others, I was not pouring into myself. And so I would have suffered, you know, there would have been many signs along the way where I suffered from um, depression and um, anxiety. And it came to an head where I started to have panic anxiety attacks and where I just all out burned out. And so I had to be off from work for six weeks. So wow. in what I learned from that, and in my recovery, I realized, and certainly through prayer and fasting, and, and God directed me to other women, other resources, other coaches, therapists, counselors, um, and just other women who, who supported me. And through my Bible study, I was able to recover and to learn how to now pour into myself, spend the time loving myself, caring for myself, and developing myself. So I had to look at my mindset and a number of things and change my whole approach and my outlook, work on me. And so I was able to, you know, um, come out of that and be better off for it. And so having done that, I looked around and saw so many other women going through the same thing. So many other women depleting themselves and just um, being stuck in a place where they would rather not be and just giving up on, on, on themselves. And so I decided that, listen, I need to reach out to other women. I need to be a support to them. And that's where my recharge and reset um, program started. So I offer coaching. I have a, I have a weekend blog that I call weekend reset. And I also have a program that I offer a coaching program that I offer. That's how I went into that business. Yeah. I think a lot of us passionate about our work. And, you know, for, for you, it was, you were still working at a corporate job when you've experienced the burnout. But in my, in the beginning of my business as a massage therapist, I was working six, seven days a week and just going, 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 saying yes to too much. Yeah. And I started to feel that burnout too. And so that's why a lot of times I share about self-care because I know how it is if we're not taking care of ourselves, we can't take care of our clients, our customers, our family, our friends, Absolutely. because there's nothing left inside of us. Mm -hmm. So thank you for <laughs> Absolutely. sharing that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and interestingly, um, Sabrina, even after I had left the corporate world, I was still, you know, working in that way um, where I was spending um, hours upon hours until my husband was like, why did you leave the corporate world? I thought your the whole idea was that you would have more control over your time and so forth. But mm -hmm. the interesting thing is that if we don't get our mindset right and if we don't change what's happening in, internally in our minds and so on, we will continue in those cycles. Mm -hmm. And so interestingly, it's not just about any coming out of any particular environment it's about working on the inside working on you and changing your whole mindset and your outlook on life and until I did that I would still find myself and by the way it's still an ongoing journey it's not something that you you ever arrive you have to right. keep <laughs> con be conscious all the time about yeah. the need for self-love self-care and always pace yourself and balance and make sure that you're keeping your eyes on, on that goal, which is to make sure that you're in alignment with God's purpose for you. And at the same time, you're loving yourself as you love God and your neighbors. <laughs> yes, totally. So yeah. good. I love that. Uh, the next thing I want to ask you is whatever is the first thing that pops into your mind that you're grateful for right now? Hmm. Well, I'm grateful that I am, um, that God has given me the privilege to work in an area that I enjoy. One of the things that I, you know, really 
was praying about is that I would enjoy my work. I would love what I'm doing. I would find fulfillment in it. And it wouldn't just be a drudge, you know, a drudgery. And so I'm, I'm thankful that I am currently working in a way on an, in an area that I find fulfillment in that I'm enjoying working in. So I'm very grateful for that. Oh, I love that. That's so good. Yeah. Cause we're fulfilling that calling and purpose and that is what is fulfilling to us. So yes, that's so important that we're just not going through the grind of daily yeah. habits and work. It's putting our whole passion, passionate self into our work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So I want to share my audience with you and I want them to, to find you, Sharon. So tell us one or two good ways that, that people can find you. Okay. So they can find me on Instagram, which is bold consulting 876. Bold as in brave, B-O-L-D consulting 876. That is my Instagram handle. And they can also email me boldconsulting2020 at gmail.com. So that's easy. Bold consulting both ways. Bold consulting 876 on Instagram or Bold Consulting 2020 at gmail.com. Very nice. And I, of course, will put Sharon's email address in the description and in the comments and also her Instagram handle so you can find her and connect with her. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out with me today, Sharon. I really appreciate you and I look forward to where God is taking us in the future. Absolutely. And thank you so much for having me and for interviewing me and giving me this opportunity. Uh, I really do appreciate it as well. Yes. Well, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>